It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking as we are moving our way through August? Summer is coming close to an end, man. I don't like it. Well, good morning to you, Ry. It is the dog days of summer, but uh, that leads to a beautiful fall. And, you know, I'm not real anxious to get back down to Florida. You know, they have that red tide going on. I hope that clears up before I have to leave this beautiful area. Sounds treacherous, Bob. Sounds treacherous, you know. <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. Bob and I are going to talk about unhealthy financial foods. We're going to explore some unhealthy foods and find their parallels in the financial world. We're going to talk about ages of your financial life. We're going to discuss what's important, financially speaking, during different chapters of your life, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot of stuff out there we want you to avoid in the media, the news, that's bad for your financial health. And we have our spotlight segment. We have our star financial advisor on the show today, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to talk about a real case she worked on and just talk about how she helped a couple get on their path for financial freedom to help you with your own planning and investing. So let's hop right to it. Bob, let's talk about some unhealthy food that can be very detrimental on your physical well-being and how that's very similar to having what we would call financial junk in your portfolio that can have a very adverse effect on your financial health. And you know, one of the big ones I think about is empty calories. You know, what kind of empty calories are there out there and how is that how can we equate that to the financial world? You know, Ryan, in, in the world of food, there's plenty of packaged food that has empty calories, but you know, when it comes to the financial markets, you know, there's quite a few really egregious investment products that uh, have a lot of empty calories. The one, number one on my list is annuities. Annuities. Was, Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been sold an annuity, right? It's like going out to a great Chinese restaurant and, you know, the <laughs> Chinese food tastes so good, but a half hour later you feel empty. <laughs> Yeah, I think that, that's a very good analogy. And you hear this all the time. We have this experience, and you may have this experience as well, where you may have bought an annuity, and you're thinking, yeah, you know, I know I bought this for a reason. The salesman's pitch was great, but I don't know how it works. I don't know why I own it. And that's typically what we see, because these things are so freaking complex. But once you peel back that shiny, glossy marketing brochure, and you start to break down how these things really work, it's usually not as good a deal as you thought. A lot of these guarantees they throw around are not really guarantees. Well, you know, first of all, Ryan, let's be real clear about this. I'm not saying annuities are bad for everybody. I'm just saying they're bad for mostly everybody. <laughs> because what happens is that they are very complex. There's, you know, they tell you there's no fees except for, you know, the salesman is taking a 7 to 10% commission. And if you go to pull your money out, suddenly you have a 7 to 10% surrender charge. That's called a fee. You know, they, they say it's not a fee, but boy, it sure is. And that's the problem. It's not a liquid investment. And really, it's just kind of a trick on the insurance company's part. They take all your money in and then they give you your own money back in dribs and drabs and call of return. Yeah, I'm feeling more empty already, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? You know, the salesman, I've seen these pitches. Uh, we've had our clients have been approached and they say, look, we're going to give you the same portfolio you have at paying capital management, except we're going to wrap it in a thin veneer of insurance. <laughs> Who knew veneer could cost so much? Oh, I know. I know. It's uh, When you hear thin veneer, that just means they're going to be charging you a lot of fees. So don't walk away. Run away from that investment. These products are sold. They're not bought. So, hey, folks, don't be sold. Yes, exactly. Another unhealthy food is all that added sugar that we find in a lot of products nowadays. Like you can go out and you buy fruit juice at the grocery store and you think you're drinking something healthy because it's fruit juice. And then you look and see they added like a gazillion pounds of sugar into that drink. So now it's as unhealthy as drinking a soda or something like that. You know, how can we equate that to the financial world? Well, first of all, let me be clear about this. I love sugar. And uh, I hate <laughs> the fact that the, you know, the marketing industry does such a good job of packaging these foods 
that are so healthy, but it turns out they're unhealthy. But, you know, they do the same thing in financial services. You know, they package these investment products like hedge funds and mutual funds and bond funds. And guess what the real hidden harm is, right? Where the sugar is. It's the sugar that the money manager gets. It's the fees, the hidden fees that are loaded in these investments that are harmful to you. But boy, they're beneficial to the portfolio manager. Yeah, it's just like when you read the front of the the fruit juice box or bottle, whatever it is, it tells you about all the great health benefits, but then you turn it around and you get the magnifying glass out and then you look at the nutritional facts and you find out about all the sugar and all the other unnatural things they put in there. It's kind of like you get that prospectus in the mail when you buy an investment product and then you go through the prospectus with a magnifying glass and then you get to see all the fees and all the hidden risks that you didn't know about because it just wasn't presented to you that way. You know, Ryan, every weekend, I know you and I both scour all the different financial publications. And one of our favorites is Barron's Magazine, Financial Magazine. You'll yes. never guess who advertises the most heavily in Barron's. I'm going to say professional money managers, Bob. And as a result, every week they run a report on one mutual fund or some portfolio manager. And it's always a, a manager who's outperformed 80% of their peers. Except for Impressive. when you and I go and verify the numbers. Yeah, they beat their peers, but they didn't beat their underlying index. It's amazing. 80% of the portfolio managers underperformed their underlying index. And you know why, Ry? Because the fees are high. Because of sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Got it. Don't yep. like the sugar is bad. Even yeah. Sugar's bad. Yep. Mutual um, funds are loaded with sugar. Stay away. <laughs> the other unhealthy uh, food that we tend to eat a lot of are trans fats, right? I love cakes, pies, cookies, donuts. They taste so, so good, Bob, but they're just so bad for you. Yeah, how do we equate that to things in your financial portfolio or things you're doing wrong with your financial portfolio? Well, you know, Ryan, investing is very hard. I mean, with hindsight, we all have 2020 and it seems easy. But boy, I just beckon back to the 2008, 2009 period where we had a financial crisis. The headlines were scary. People were, were scared. We had, we had a great recession. The stock market had crashed. And our job was to get people fully invested to achieve their goals. You remember those days? I do remember those days. Yeah, it was very difficult. But you know what? Now we have the counter that. The the methodology that we use to get you invested is not only the best way to invest when things are tough, but when things are good, you have to stick to your discipline. And the trans fat of your portfolio right now is the fact that you're doing well. Right. It's so basically the things in your portfolio that are doing really, really well, they keep going up and up and up. And of course, in the back of your mind is like, I don't want to sell these things because I want to see my portfolio go higher and higher and higher. But you know... As things keep going up in value and as the market goes up, you have more risk. And at some point, the markets are going to go down and you might not be protected. But it's so hard when things are going so well to have the discipline to take some profits off the table. It is. It's just the the exact opposite. When things are so horrible, it's tough to invest. And when things are so good, it's tough to do the right things. But you and I have been walking the Ocean City boardwalk since you were born. And it's the trans fat capital of the world. So yeah. let's be careful out there. You don't want your portfolio to be the trans fat capital of the financial markets. That's right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know, I need to be financially healthy. I need to know what I own in my portfolio. I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to make sure that I have the right investments in place. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous Total Financial Master Plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. Simply bring in your statements, just print them out, put them in a folder. We're going to go through all your investments for you. We're going to build you your own personalized portal to view your whole financial life in one place. And we're going to look at all the critical components to getting you financially healthy. We're going to look at fees, what hidden costs you have in your portfolio. We're going to show you all the hidden costs in your, in your annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce that cost. We're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. What is your income gap? Well, how do you need to replace your income? We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio so you have a reliable income stream for life. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now? 
our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you simply have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no plan unless you text or call. 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist and Managing Director here at Payne Capital Management. And the market staged a broad-based rally on Thursday, reversing the losses from earlier in the week on the news that Walmart delivered its best sales growth in more than a decade and on the news that the U.S. and China will resume trade talks sometime next week. Now, the prospect of a trade war, along with concerns over the Turkish economy and its currency, have been major headwinds to the market in the past few weeks. The underlying strength in corporate profitability, as evidenced by second quarter earnings growth of close to 25 percent, the best since 2004, should bode well for the market once the geopolitical risks are resolved. Perhaps no single company is a better barometer of economic health than Walmart, our country's largest retailer. The company said more than 40% of the U.S. population, or 150 million people, shop at Walmart on a weekly basis. And with this week's announcement that the sales growth is better than at any time in the past decade is a very, very good sign for the economy since the biggest driver for retail growth is growth in disposable income, and that is clearly stronger. More importantly, consumer spending accounts for 70% of our GDP. No wonder the gross domestic product grew at 4.1% in the past quarter. Now, that's the fastest pace in over four years. So concerns and worries, or what we call noise, over trade wars, tariffs, and an emerging market financial crisis will continue to dominate the headlines over the coming weeks. And of course, we'll continue to drive volatility. So our advice, ignore the noise and stay focused on the mounting evidence that the state of the economy is strong and only getting better. So if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals, to my family's dreams? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If your advisor reminds you of Gordon Gecko, fisherman always sees another fisherman from afar. It might be time for a fresh perspective. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I are simple men, as you know, and we like to keep it simple for you so you have practical advice you can use for your own retirement planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Just a great way to get started. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, I was thinking in this segment we could talk about milestone birthdays and you know different birthdays we're going to reach in our lifetime and explain how these birthdays represent pretty important landmarks when it comes to our financial planning as well. And I think that first important date can be age 50. 
because age 50, we're kind of entering what we would call that retirement red zone where, let's face it, retirement's not that far off anymore and we can't just wing it anymore. Well, first of all, Rob, age 50 sounds so young to me. I don't, I don't, I don't, can't even remember that far back. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm 10 <laughs> but, years know. away, but uh, I, I feel you, Bob. Uh, <laughs> it goes fast, trust me. But, you know, that whole, really, age 50 to 59 is really that financial red zone where you, you, you finally get serious about your planning for your retirement. I think, you know, retirement planning, you should be thinking about financial planning every age of your life. But let's face it, Rye, we've seen that with a lot of our current clients. We know you are getting dead serious about, you know, what's going to happen when you retire, once you hit that age 50. Now, one of the benefits of turning 50 is you're now able to add more money to retirement plans. You can you can put $1,000 yeah. additional to your IRA. You have a catch-up provision for your 401k or 43b of 6000 And that's that's a great way to compound wealth, you know, prior to retirement. Yeah, I think you really have to get razor focused on your savings at this point, right? You probably amass some wealth at this point, but if you have some opportunities here where you can really ramp it up, especially if you're not spending so much money on the kids anymore. Hopefully some of them you funded the college education already, but this is a time where, again, you can add more money to that 401k, add more money to your IRAs, really take advantage of it and really ramp it up so that you're ready when you come 60, 65, or when you're ever, whenever you decide you want to retire. Yeah, right. You and I have lived with our wealth projections our whole career, you know, showing people what is going to happen to their money in their lifetime every year for the rest of their lives. But it's amazing how razor focused people become once they hit age 50. And they really start to understand how inflation is that hidden, hidden insidious tax that works against them. How just by cutting back a few expenses and adding money strategically, right, into tax advantage investments and saving a little bit more, the big difference and big impact it makes. So it's not too late, right? At age 50, you're just really getting started. And that's a great time to get focused on your financial plan. Yeah. And I, I would argue that the stakes are a lot higher too. So you have to be just a lot more cognizant of the decisions that you make because you can't make it up like you used to, right? If you have another you 2000 can't have it all on Facebook, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Can't put all your money on Facebook once you get into that financial red zone. You know, another thing you can do in your 50s, Bob, that can be really critical and really helpful is once you hit 59 and a half, you know, there's a good chance a lot of your net worth is in your 401k plan. And that 401k plan typically has very limited options. And for most plans at 59 and a half, you can do what you call an in-service distribution, which can be a really powerful yeah. strategy to use with your money. You know, for you, that the, the IRA is the best way to invest your retirement dollars as opposed to a 401k. Not initially, right? It's a great way to accumulate wealth, 401k, but it's also a very expensive way in most cases to invest. So at 59 and a half, you can do what's called an in-service distribution, convert that money tax-free. There's no penalty. There is no tax from the IRS and put it into a, a tax sheltered investment on an IRA. And the big benefits are, right, you have every investment available in the universe to invest in, in an IRA. And especially you get away from those dreaded bond funds. Yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of the key things here. Number one, you can still contribute to the 401k. It doesn't stop you from doing that, but now you have more control over your investments and you can invest it exactly the way you want to. That's another good point, Bob. It's like, look, as you get more conservative with your money, and we only pound the table about this every week, don't put your money into bond funds. I know you feel like they're safe. They're not safe. There's no protection of your principal there. That's the worst thing you can do. There's a lot of alternatives you can use to become safer with your money as you get closer to retirement. And moving your money out of that 401k into an IRA gives you that flexibility to do it. Yeah, I mean, a 401k is a great way to accumulate wealth, but when you're in a big market 401k, all the costs of the plan are borne by the employees, you. So you can eliminate a lot of those costs by simply you know, doing that in-service distribution. Yeah, exactly right. And then once you've done that and now you're into your 60s, there's other type of planning, Bob, that you have to start doing. Things can only get more complex, not to stress you out. You know, what are some of the things we have to think about in our 60s? Things like Social Security. That's a big one. When you take your Social Security. You know, the, most of you take Social Security when you hit 62, whether you need it or not, which is not the right way to do it. it may end up being the right way to do it. We find a lot of you, if you take your Social Security at 62 and invest it properly, it's better than taking it later. But that's not always the case. You want to make sure that you make every financial decision in concert with every dollar you have. And you should have that analysis done on whether you should take it at 62 or 66 or even wait till 70. There's a lot of things to consider, right? Another thing you may want to consider in your 60s 
is some sort of IRA distribution planning. Because let's face it, when you turn 70 and a half, your IRA's retirement plans can be what we call a ticking tax time bomb, Bob, where you're going to have to start taking mandatory withdrawals. So sometimes converting some of that money to a Roth IRA, taking money out of those earlier in your 60s can alleviate your tax burden later. So a lot of tax planning around your retirement plans is really important in your your 60s as well. Yeah, like last year, Ry, you advised me to convert some of my profit sharing in 401k into a Roth because when I, if I waited till I was 70 and a half, I'd end up in a much higher tax bracket and end up having less money in retirement than I would by not taking those steps that we took last year. So thank God, Bob, you have a great financial advisor. Yeah, right. That's really a great point because, you know, I'm an expert in what I do. I've been doing this for 43 years, but no one's as good as, as having an advisor. It's like, playing golf. You can't see your own swing. You need a coach. So if you're thinking that uh, you know you have every basis covered, you don't know what you don't know. And having an advisor is the smartest thing you can do as an investor. Now, you know, another thing you got to look at, right? Age 65, now you're in my ballpark. Now we're talking about my time in life. I had to sign up for Medicare this year because if I didn't, there's a big penalty if you miss that sign up. So just be aware three months before or three months after you turn 65, make sure you register for Medicare. Yeah, exactly right. And it's, uh, again, nothing simple, of course. And that's why it's always good to weigh out your options. See if you need to get a Medigap policy. I know, Bob, what are some of the things that you did to, to prepare for Medicare? Well, it was very complex, right? And there's, um, you know, there's a lot of different things to consider. What I decided to do was come off our company plan and go with Medicare and go with a gap plan, even though it's coming right directly out of my pocket And it seems very expensive, but when I weighed all the benefits versus the cost, it turned out to be the best thing to do. So if you're sitting there thinking, you know what, I don't care what age I am, I need help with all these issues. And if you're one of the next 10 callers, we're going to give you all the help you need. If you've saved at least $200,000 for retirement, my son and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but if you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take all of your investment information, and we're going to create a holistic review for you and your family. We're going to create your own 360 financial portal, which will tell you what you own and why you own it, and it'll display in real time what you're worth on a daily basis. More importantly, it'll show how you're tracking towards your goals whenever you care to take a look. We're going to look at your portfolio and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. And that would be diversification, cost, and income. You know, a truly diversified portfolio is diversified across asset classes and within asset classes. You want to be certain that you don't have the same investments in every holding. You don't want that overlap. You don't have too much of a good thing when it turns into a bad thing. We want to look at your cost. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged, especially by my own portfolio. There's so many hidden costs buried deep into the prospectus of those mutual funds or in that big, thick insurance contract. We're experts at ferrying out those hidden costs and helping you to reduce those fees so it'll enhance your performance over time. And lastly, let's make sure you have a dependable income stream from a truly diversified portfolio. You know, everyone has a gap in income in retirement. Let's make certain that we're going to fill that gap with a repeatable stream of cash flow. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan and answering that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right, folks. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and only the amount of certainty that a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Get a second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, we'll run our full review. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
This is No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial propaganda? You know, Rye, this is a, a pet peeve of mine for the last 10 years. And suddenly it just appears that there's more and more commercials pushing gold and gold coins than ever in the last 10 years. <laughs> now, gold has been a terrible investment. Let's be clear, Bob. I mean, if you look at the performance on gold the last five years, it's been nothing short of horrible. Well, it's actually been a negative return. So you've actually lost money in gold over the last five years. And that's what drives me crazy. You got that actor, William Devane. And he's flying his plane. He's sitting in his gorgeous home with his massive fireplace. He's <laughs> riding his horse, you know, on his ranch. Now, I can't believe he expects us to, to think that he was able to buy all this, you know, by investing in a negative return asset class. Uh, my guess is he's buying all this with the money they're paying him to do these commercials. <laughs> it has to be because, I mean, there's a commercial on about gold, I feel like, every five minutes when you're watching the financial shows. And all they talk about is how safe It is to put your money in gold. And I'm thinking to myself, if you look at the price of gold, it fluctuates just like the stock market. You're losing money as opposed to getting a positive return. That's like heads you lose, tails you lose, Bob, as you like to say. Yeah, I I think I'd like to give Mr. Devane a call because, you know, over that five year (laughs) period where he's done nothing but lose money, if he actually invested the way he's advising people, the SP 500 has doubled. If you just, you wanted to really get aggressive and gamble a little bit, like you would by buying gold. He invested in technology stocks. You're up 150% over that same period. So what I basically see, Rye, is that you know if we can get him as a client and get him diversified into our regular portfolio of owning stocks you know that have gone up consistently for the last 300 years or a fixed income portfolio, he's going to be much better off. He's going to secure his retirement, be able to enjoy that farm. He'll have two jets, maybe, instead of one. <laughs> maybe, perhaps, yeah. What drives me crazy is they essentially pitch this as this very safe place to put your money. It's a safe haven. And you know, by no means is gold a safe investment. It doesn't pay any income, which is huge nope. because a good investment should have some sort of income that it's paying you on a monthly, quarterly basis. And the price of it fluctuates like your, your favorite ride at Great Adventure. I mean, it's, it's not <laughs> stable at all. No, not even the least. It's too heavy to carry it around, so then you got to pay somebody to store it. And that was always my my favorite argument against gold bugs when they would tell me that when our fiat currency no longer had any purchasing power, you know, my family would starve as they go to the grocery store with their gold. Well, I'm thinking if, if every family in the neighborhood's starving and you have gold and it's stored in your house, somebody's going to rob you some night. I mean, it's just there's nothing safe <laughs> about it at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Complete misconception. That is that is pure financial propaganda. That's why I like to bring it to your attention. Another article that was out very common this week, there's one of the New York Times, and this article was written over and over again, is the lira, the Turkish currency, plunged this past week. And you heard all this news about it's going to fuel what we call financial contagion. You know, the, the whole idea was 
as Turkey's currency has fallen, it's going to hit stocks in Europe, Asia, and from there, it's going to create a whole economic meltdown that's going to spread across all the emerging markets, creating complete mayhem, which, you know, the reality of it is completely untrue. Well, I think the right, it's because the, the people are thinking about what happened in the past. I mean, we've had currency crisis. Uh, you know, 1994, we had the Mexican peso devalued. We had the, um, the Asian contagion in 1997. I remember sitting at my desk in downtown Philadelphia and watching the market drop 500 points in one day because the Thai bot was devalued. I didn't know what the Thai bot was. Nobody did. Nobody <laughs> knew what the Thai bot was, but I guarantee you, everybody knew the next day what that was. And then 98, you had the Russian government actually default on his debt. So, you know, a lot of people think, you know, that history always repeats, you know, and often rhymes, but um, the circumstances are so different now. And it's not like it was, you know, back with the Russian ruble devaluation or the, or the Asian contagion. And I think other things you have to think about as an investor, because there has been a lot of nervousness around the global markets as of recent, and there can be this mentality that I should only invest in the U.S. But just looking at the demographics and the statistics, Bob, over the next couple of years, first off, 87% of the world's population is in the emerging markets, not here in the U.S. And 90% of the world's population that's under 30 is in the emerging markets. And their, wow. their companies are expected to grow at a much faster rate than the U.S. over the next you know, five years. So I think you, know, you also have to think about when you're building your portfolio for the future, it's crazy not to think globally. I mean, the U.S. has done very, very well the last couple of years, but we know over time all markets do well. And if you think about the future specifically, you know, there's just so much more opportunity around the world that you know, any time you get a hiccup like this, You've got to look at it as a buying opportunity and as a place to add to your portfolio, not a place to divest. Well, Rye, are you telling me that uh, we should invest in Turkish bonds because they're yielding 18%? <laughs> Maybe not Turkish bonds, <laughs> but, uh, okay. but hey, but who knows? Arguably, that could be a good deal here too, but you're a braver man than I if that's where you're going to put your cash. So basically, uh, you think the equity markets internationally are a good place to be, and, you know, just, and even our markets are going to benefit when you have that many people around the world that are growing economically, that's more products that all of our great companies can sell. That's why we're in one of the greatest economic expansions in our lifetime. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why we talk about this a lot too, is you don't want the portfolio of the last 10 years, because whatever did well is not going to repeat itself. You want the portfolio of the next 10 years, and that's a global portfolio. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to set my portfolio up to make sure that it is covering all my bases. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's our full holistic review where we look at everything, a real financial plan. So if you bring in all your statements, print them out, or when they come in this month, just stick them in a folder. We'll go through all of it for you. In fact, we're going to build you your own personalized online portal so we can view everything in one place and we can do a full analysis and look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at those pesky fees. There's a lot of costs in investment portfolios, mutual funds, annuities, brokerage products. Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap going to be? How are you going to replace it? Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Are you overly concentrated in any part of the market? Do you own gold? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio so you're ready for the next market decline. Then finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. There's no plan unless you call or text. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I would like to give you common sense advice because we're men that like common sense. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, just a great baseline to make sure that you're getting yourself in the right position for retirement. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Text the word BULLISH to 555-888. Just a great baseline to help you get started with the retirement planning process. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can do that on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. You can check out our latest content. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. And you can subscribe to our show. Simply go to bebullish.com. And you can catch me most weeks on CNBC, Fox Business News, giving updated market commentary. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we'll answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. And we have our producer, Mark Haywood, in the studio going through our mailbag, our electronic mailbag. Well, we got a couple of good questions that have come in this morning. Let's take one from Jennifer in Harleysville. Jennifer says, Bob, if interest rates finally start going back up, should I change how I'm saving? I don't have very much in the bank right now because rates are so low. Well, you know what, Jennifer? That's a good question. But if you don't have money in the bank, I'm wondering where it is. But a lot of people do have money in banks. And let's face it, banks aren't working for you. They're working for their shareholders. And their business is the business of lending money. So they want to pay as little as possible on your deposit and lend it out for as much as possible. So, right, interest rates are rising and banks are increasing their dividends to their shareholders. Federal fund rates have gone up. So now they're getting more interest from the federal government. Why aren't the banks paying any more on the deposits of investors? Bob, the banks are greedy. I hate to say it. Yeah, they're looking out for their best interest, not your best interest. And you know, the thing is, right now, if you're smart about it, you know, we offer a CD ladder and, and other ways that you can actually increase the income on your short-term cash. But the, the banks are definitely looking out for their shareholders, not you, the bank depositor. And it's clear in the money market rates are still freaking low. Yeah, they are. But I mean, you can quadruple the return you're getting on cash if you just pick up the phone and call. The bank won't do it for you. Call us because we're seeing four to five times better yields available outside of the little bank that you may be working with. And the nice thing is, you know, every, I don't know about you. I like to keep my cash management local, right? It's always good to have a bank that you can walk into uh, that's close. And every bank in the country will work with electronic funds transfer from wherever else you have money. So you can deposit that money in a higher yielding portfolio with someone like us. And you can get that money on demand on a phone call, you know, and put into your checking account. So you can have the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah no, I, that's the nice thing. It's so easy to transfer money now. It's not like back in the day where it was a kind of an arduous process to move your money from one bank to the other. The other thing to think about too, though, I think it's very important is even if you're getting a better interest rate on your money market fund, let's say you're getting 2%, that's still not cutting it for retirement. Cost of living is averaged more like 3% a year. You're still losing so if you're sitting with a lot of cash right now, that's not helping you for your retirement planning. There's, you know, there's a lot of ways to get invested where you can generate a lot more income and potential growth on your money over time, which you're going to need. So even though rates are a little bit better, it's still you got to evaluate how much cash are you sitting on, Bob. Well, thank you for writing in, Jennifer. Let's move over now to Kathy in Morristown, New Jersey. Kathy says, Ryan, my husband and I argue about money almost every day because we just haven't done a good job of planning for retirement and it's starting to stress both of us out. Is this normal or do we need some serious help? And I'll chime in that, well, I've only been married for three weeks, so what do I know? But I can already tell that if arguing about money isn't normal, then maybe I need some serious help as well. (laughs) Yeah, this is a very, very common issue where you and your spouse may be on a completely different page when it comes to money. And I also think this is why it's very beneficial 
not only to do financial planning, which I think is very important, but do it with your spouse. I mean, I can I joke about it, Bob, but sometimes we're more like financial therapists than financial advisors. But I think getting both spouses in the room to talk about finances is a very therapeutic process. Well, it is, Ryan. You need a process because sometimes you have one spouse who's diametrically opposed to the other in terms of risk, risk tolerance, you know, fear and greed comes into play. And having a written plan where there's some math involved, where projections show the impact of those decisions that are being made today really are the great arbiter of, of helping people to, you know, come to some agreement. Because if it's just, you know, emotion, if you're just dealing with one person's emotions over the other, no one can win that argument, you can win the other person over. So it's uh, so important to sit down, do that wealth projection, see what the implications are of being more conservative or being more aggressive and not saving properly. Quite frankly, you know, our planning process right, has saved about 10 marriages over the last four years. <laughs> we have statistics on that? I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, just to add on to that too, Bob, I think this is really important because we see this a lot too, with you and your spouse being on the same page. You know, Our 360 portal has been a huge advancement in just making sure if your spouse is doesn't have any interest in the finances, making sure everything's set up if, God forbid, something happens to you. And we've had a lot of experiences like that lately. You know, Rye, the 360 financial portal is all about love, right? If you love your spouse and love your family, you I like need that. to set one up. Now, on a you know scale of one to 10, what would you think? Are, are Jennifer and Kathy, in terms of being financially organized, where would you rank them, Rye? Not good, Bob. I'm saying two and a half today. This is, uh, this is financial disorganization. Wow, two and a half. Now, I want to ask you a question. On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you like to be in terms of financially organized? I mean, of course you'd want to be a 10. And if you want to be a 10, just be one of our next callers. Because if you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a virtual, holistic view of your entire financial picture that's updated every day in real time. It'll also track how you're progressing towards every great goal of life that you and your family have. It's displayed right there in your portal, not when we tell you to look, but when you feel like sitting down and looking at this stuff. You know, look, financial planning is boring. Let's make it exciting. Let's make it organized. Hey, why not be set for life? What's the alternative? And if you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to take your entire portfolio and we're going to break it down into the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? Are you taking more risk than necessary that most people take? Are you overcharged by your portfolio? I hope not. Let's make sure that you're eliminating every fee that can be eliminated from your financial investments. And lastly, let's look at your income. We all have that income gap once we stop accepting a paycheck, let's be certain that that income gap is filled with a repeatable, dependable cash flow. Finally, we're going to tie it all together for you and your family with your own personal total financial master plan. Answering that age old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for four decades? We've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and only as much certainty as a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, that's 844 844- 752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on the right track. 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. 
That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844 844- 752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we like to give you common sense, simple advice you can utilize to help your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, just a great baseline, get you started on the financial planning process, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's BULLISH. To five 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 eight eight eight, and now we have a very special guest on the show, Bob and I's colleague, our star financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria. And if you want to be morning. one of Frankie's financial friends, you just got to be nice to Frankie. That's 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 <laughs> the number one. <laughs> number one, you have to be nice. Number two, sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two good rules. I like that. <laughs> two good rules. So Frank, you know the spotlight segment is where we talk about a real case that that you worked on and you talk about just some of the things you did to help or or get a certain person or couple uh, on track financially speaking. Why don't you talk about a recent case you worked on and how you made this person one of Frankie's financial friends? Yes, yes. So uh, the big thing with uh, this case that I worked on this week was not having a plan. And whether it's your investments, your life, your diet, you have to have a plan in order to get to your goals. So I think a big thing is just knowing that, one, creating what your goal is. You know, what is the big picture goal here? For this guy, he wanted to retire at 65. Yes. That is That is where he wanted to go. What he told me, he's like, this is my ultimate goal. What do I need to do to get there? So I was like, all How right. How now, Frankie? Right now, he is 43. So he has some okay. time, which is good because, you know, with every plan, you need a little bit of time to let it work and let the magic happen. But yeah. definitely some steps that he had to take. Yeah, and we, we worked on this case together, and it was one of the things where he did a great job saving. We talked about this earlier in the show in his younger years, but then he just stopped saving because of other issues in his life. And now it's like, oh man, okay, I'm into my 40s now. Retirement's not tomorrow, but it's not that far off, and I've got to get serious about my savings again, which, you know, that's a huge part of getting to your goals is making sure you put enough away. And so, what were is, the major pain points? So, some of the major pain points was just not having a plan in place. So, things like not having an investment strategy. I mean, sometimes you, you look at some of these accounts and it's you know stocks here, bonds here, and it doesn't have a cohesive reason behind it. And that's really important. I know sometimes you know when you get started, you're like, hey, let's just get started. I like Disney. Let's rock with it. But uh, <laughs> as you start to develop some some money and some net worth, you, you have to have a a cohesive plan that matches your goals. Well, it, it gets, there, Frank. I think you got to know what you own and know why you own it because it's not a problem when it's going up, but when it's going down, you've got to make a decision on, is this something I need to add more to or is this something I should eliminate? So it's, it's intelligent investing, not just investing. Exactly. Yeah, and in this case, we looked at the investments and unfortunately, his financial advisor, if we can call him that, I call him more like a broker, was a transaction commission junkie. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. We saw uh, some of those loads were over 5%. I was like, woof. Yeah, so every time he was buying something or the broker convinced him to buy something, the broker was getting 5% we estimated up front. And the client said to us, so is that why when he called me you know, out of the blue <laughs> during the year to do something... You know, to buy or sell something, it's because he was looking for his commission. We were like, "Well, you said it; we didn't say it." <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not disagreeing. <laughs> it's kind no of no conflict of interest there. Yeah, it's like when you're driving on the highway and you see those trucks. It's like heavy load. It's like his financial advisor leading the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of when we analyze a bond portfolio, we look at yield to call or yield to maturity. 
when I look at this portfolio, it's it's yield to broker. You know, <laughs> what was the commission to the broker and how much will he make? It motivated him to sell these collection of investments. Unfortunately, that's yeah. what happens. And oh. sadly, that's exactly what was happening here. I mean, it's kind of, a, I hate to use the word, but egregious, really. Absolutely. And then there was other things as well. You know, his big thing is we needed to uh, stay on budget and we needed to make sure that he had enough money to save. And his investments weren't as tax efficient as they could be. So we immediately looked at it and we're like, hey, let's get you into some money that we can save on taxes. Because like Ryan and Bob say all the time, it's as green as money that you're making in the markets. You know, other things like his interest and dividends were incredibly low. I mean, you're, hmm. he was having such a low yielding portfolio. I mean, we like tripled it. <laughs> it was crazy. So um, that's a result of like some of the internal hidden costs that uh, he didn't even know about were eating up his yield. Absolutely. And then again, just having like a plan, you know, when you're just investing in things here and there just because, just because of that, you know, maybe or maybe not because of the uh, <laughs> the loads, you can see it in the performance. You can see it in the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Yeah. And I just remember too, you know, the other thing was really important to him. And I think this is probably a, a big issue for all of us is just, you know, more than anything else, he just wanted a budget. Um, we have that, that great feature in our 360 portal where we can bring in all the expenses. It gets uploaded on a, on a daily basis. So we could go by month by month and we can actually start to categorize and break out exactly everything he's spending mm -hmm. and then just going through and what I call trimming the fat, looking at where we can cut costs because, I mean, a budget and saving was just so critical for him. And I think we all have that. I mean, I, I did the budget budgeting tool for myself earlier this year and it's just so therapeutic to give yourself a budget. We have the best tool for that. Yeah, are you yeah a lot of these companies are sneaky. Leaks? You know, Frankie, they, uh, they renew the subscription on things without notifying you because they still have your credit card. And it's just uh, the kind of stuff compounds over time. So the, the nice thing about the portal picks up every transaction and you can check it. And if there's something you don't need, get rid of it. Oh, Bob, I think we're all victims of the 30 day free trial. And then all of a sudden <laughs> on day 31, you see that expense going through. I think we're all victims yeah. of that. <laughs> but it's important to keep that in mind. But definitely something that you want to then consistently review and that's part of having a plan is having a plan having your goal set knowing you know your stipulations you know this is my ultimate goal and this is things I won't budge on like you know I don't want to sell my vacation home you know what can we do I want to retire at this time but I don't want to do this what are my other options and that's okay it's okay to have stipulations but you have to be upfront and honest you have to get a game plan together and you have to constantly review it I mean, you can't put a plan in place, like a diet. You can't put like a diet in place and then never look back on it again and think that's going to be okay for the rest of your life. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what you do for people, Frankie. It's like they, you know, everybody maybe intuitively thinks they're doing well. But, you know, to use an old saying, you know, trust but verify. You know, use someone like you to verify that all your assumptions are correct and that you're going to be in good shape in retirement and it's going to last because, you know, you don't want to wait till it's too late because that it's too late. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need to trust and verify, make sure that I'm not getting taken over the coals with my investments and the commissions. If I want to know what my budget can be and, and get myself on track, here's your shot to do it. We still have a few slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement and you call right now or text, Bob and I, Frankie, are going to run for you our total financial master plan just like this. And we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review, just like we did for this family. Simply just bring your statements in, you know, print them out, put them in a folder. We'll go through all of it for you. We'll build you your own personalized portal where we can give you a holistic view of everything, help you build that budget. You know, we're going to look at things like fees. What are you being charged on your investments? Do you have a commission-based broker? Can we reduce the cost for you on your portfolio, which is more money in your pocket over time? We're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. We were able to quadruple this individual's income just by lowering the fees. We'll show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. You know, are you protected? If the market pulls back, is your portfolio bulletproofed? We're going to show you how to do that. And we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. We have a few openings left. Text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 
for your retirement will create for you your own personal total financial masterpiece. No obligation, no cost, but no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, great show, Frankie. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Appreciate the chance. (laughs) I feel like uh, who in the world would not want to be one of Frankie's financial friends? I mean, it's just... It's mean the most people that aren't funny, I guess. Not That's me. about it. Yeah. <laughs> Big Bob, what's on tap for the rest of the weekend? Well, I got to root on for Serena so she can add to her uh, multi-million dollar net worth by winning the U.S. Open. If she wins it, then, well, she's going to be doing pretty well. It's a big purse this year. So have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.